based employees of a Hong Kong based airline are protesting after the carrier announced it would no longer contribute to workers social security and Medicare. Seven on your side's Michael Finney tells us this could have a big impact. This is a pretty dangerous precedent I would think for a labor union. This is amazing. Labor union for you and me. Imagine if a foreign company owns a company and then they don't that's who you work for, and they don't pay into Social Security. Amazing. Nearly 500 U.S.-based employees of Cathay Pacific Airways may no longer be able to use Social Security and Medicare benefits. Fly to Lines rallied at Union Square today in protest. The demonstration took place right across the street from the airline's San Francisco office. The airline says it's not ob obligated to contribute to Social Security and Medicare because it is a foreign corporation. Reverend Norman Fong of the Chinatown Community Development Center says this sets a bad precedent. If other corporations can get away claiming that they're non-American, not having to pay Americans benefits, we're all in trouble. Injustice for one is injustice for all, and we are here to support our brothers and sisters. Members of the Association of Flight Attendants also joined in the protest. U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein and Representative Jackie Sphere have sent a letter to the Social Security Administration asking that it investigate this matter. Cathay Pacific told ABC7 there are specific regulations in the U.S. tax code governing foreign airlines. Continuing, we cannot legally continue to make these contributions, and it is not legally possible to make voluntary contributions.